All right, everybody. It's another week, another month. It's the end of the quarter. I can't believe we just gone through 90 days of 2023. It surprised the heck out of Jennifer and I. Um, we'll finish out the quarter with 22 sales. We've got two or three still in the hopper right now that we think we might be able to close within the next day or two. At least one that we've got uh, two offers in house right now. Uh, we've done four new listings over the weekend. Uh, with everything that's happened in the economy, with the um, banking industry in disarray, with the um, inflation out of control, with the interest rates going berserk, um, and to still pull off um, as many sales that we have right now that puts you at a run rate of almost 100. And then to also be able to say that we've got inventory of close to $8 million of fresh new product that people can take a look at. We go into Q2 in some pretty good shape. What that means, how that shapes up, for Q2, three, and four, we really don't know. Uh, we really gotta keep a good eye on it. But let's give you some specs on where things are today, right now, in the 33950, 33955 specifically. And here's what we got uh, to look at right now. A median list price is at 573. You're looking at the median uh, new listing price sitting at around 527,000. Price per square foot on homes has actually come down. We've been sitting all year up until this point around $309 uh, a square foot. We're now seeing that has taken a little bit of a nosedive to around 289. Average days on the market uh, have increased overall to 91, and that's through all segments. That's from 300,000 all the way up to a million when you go and average that all out. Uh, average days on the market is 91 days. Uh, if you look at the median days on the market, you're looking at around 53. Now, that doesn't include fresh inventory that comes on the market. We are seeing that fresh inventory that comes on the market, we're seeing that 7 to 17 day. If you got a good product that's fresh and fairly priced, that's moving pretty good. We're seeing products that we're putting on the market sell in about five days. The uh, most recent one that we have offers on right now, five days on the market, we've got offers. One that we put on last week was on the market five days. We've got it sold and we've got a contract on it. So um, those that's what's happening on fresh new inventory. That's also happening uh, at the national level as well. Uh, one of the things, uh, we are still seeing a fairly high rate of uh, price decreasing out there. Uh, right now, we're seeing about 48% of the inventory still being discounted to try to meet the needs of the buyers that are left in the marketplace. Um, and, and try to get there. So that means that there's still a lot of old inventory out there trying to get down to a price range that people are looking to buy. Um, we are seeing uh, a lot of property or some property, I should say, not a lot, 11% uh, to be exact, um, in our zip code areas uh, being relisted. Um, uh, inventory is climbing and you know, we're an anomaly. Our little microcosm here in Punta Gorda is not representative of the national scene. The national scene inventory continues to no dive. Um, so we've got less inventory at the national level, yet we're, our inventory is now starting to gain. I'll give you a great example. Uh, Burnstorm Marina, which did not have much inventory four, five, six weeks ago, is now sitting up at 44, 45 pieces of inventory out there. That's like old level. Uh, so um, inventory is moving um, out there in and right now this week we've got a trend of a lot more inventory hitting the marketplace so that's actually good news we need that inventory we need that choice for customers uh, out in the marketplace rents however for homes have actually started to come down a little bit and our average is around 3,000 market action as far as it we just are barely in that sellers range so that's something to take into uh, consideration um, you know, where do we think things are going? Um, we really don't have uh, a great uh, feel for it just yet. If these interest rates can come down a little bit more, we think maybe some of the market action will pick up a little bit. But I got to be honest with you, we are still not getting many, if any, on our end. Jennifer is not bringing buyers to the table that are financing deals. Uh, our deals, every one of them right now, are still cash deals. So um, 
And if there are any that are being brought in by other agents bringing the buyers to the table, um, any of those finance deals have a lot of uh, money being put, put down as deposits and uh, down payments. So, you know, we'll have to see where this thing shakes out. Um, right now, um, we're going to close the quarter out. Uh, we'll let you know next week where our final tally uh, ends up. But uh, we're pretty excited uh, where we are to date, and we're looking forward to get uh, rolling in uh, Q2 and beyond. So stay tuned, like, share, subscribe, and we love you.